2020 Ford Transit T250 350 same setup you can 35 37 whatever if you got yeah you see I got stuff all over the place here uh, if you have one of these and all of a sudden all the dash and everything lights up the lights and stuff come on but it just won't start see how it says charging system service now and it'll say engine coolant over temp and all this other stuff I finally was able to get into IDS after that computer shut down three times because it's got a faulty battery and I can't find a Panasonic CF52 battery. Uh, when I called uh, laptop, laptop batteries or something like that, they said that is about two months out because Panasonic is helping Tesla fix their battery issues. And uh, they are uh, laptop batteries really aren't a priority right now. So I need a CF52 battery for a Panasonic, what is that? CF53 battery uh, for a Panasonic laptop. That battery will only last 15 minutes and then it's dead. It has to stay plugged in all the time. But anyhow, enough small talk. I know these transits have issues with their, their electrical systems and stuff at times. Um, but I came out here kind of blind. I had enough tools to remove the seat, change the battery and stuff out because the battery is deader than a doornail. And I get in here and I'm looking around. Finally get FDRS to hook up. It says the ABS module and the PCM are offline. Hmm. I don't have any electrical testing tools or anything like that because I didn't figure I'd get it. I, I'd run into this. And uh, let me show you what I found. Uh, after figuring out the ABS module and PCM are not communicating at all, well, I had to get innovative. Yeah, I had to do what I had to do. So I go here. Long needle nose pliers. Touch from one side of the mega fuse to the other under the seat. Okay, no contact, no nothing at all, no sparking. Go to the next one. Oh crap, light comes on, a little spark happens sometimes, and the vehicle starts like it's brand new. Now watch, it's touching right there, watch what happens. That 300 amp mega fuse is blown, and that's the ones that have been, these mega fuses in these boxes in these transits have been giving us a lot of problems, a lot of freaking problems, man. They come in, guys have thrown starters at them, PCMs at them, everything else. They don't know how to diagnose them. They, they don't work through the circuit. They get so frustrated, they just start throwing parts at them. That's the whole issue the whole entire time. If you notice now, most of the lights are off on the dash and everything's starting to communicate now. That right there is the problem. That 300 amp mega fuse. So now, I'm pretty sure, last I checked, you got to get that whole drop-in box to fix that problem. So now I got to go back to the dealership, pack all my crap up. This is actually our vehicle that we sent for body work and the body shop came out to start it and they were like, what the heck? We can't get it to do anything. Well, it's been sitting here for four months waiting on parts. Finally got the parts in the body shop, got everything done. It's working. Just got a mega fuse that's blown and riveted through the plating system. Like a lot of you guys were arguing with me over the Maverick when I, gr when I drilled those out. I added in my new uh, 80 amp fuse and that 2.5 liter Maverick no, no start where I had to hydraulic crimp that new supply wire to the fuse box because they're breaking away from the connection from the factory. And then I found that 80 amp fuse and I drilled it out and then I scored up the board real good and then I soldered in a new permanent 80 amp. Oh, it's riveted in. You, the rivet's way better. It, it, the rivet's better connection. And oh, shut up. It, it's not. It, it, it really isn't. We're, we've been having all kinds of problems with these mega fuses and big fuses that are riveted through the board. The vibration and stuff wears them. They wear back and forth on the rivet where it's pressed through. And then it ends up losing its connection. And this is what happens. It'll sit there and short out and then pop the fuse. So now I got to get back to... See it's running right now? Now watch what happens when I do this. dead and all the lights come back on so back to the dealer we go so i can order this assembly yep y'all take care be blessed i just wanted to share with you it's late it's dark everybody else went home i'm here lucky parts was still here for the last little bit it's not late it just looks late i guess you could say it's uh there's actually an SSM out that talks about replacement of those fuses in the 20, 
2020 and 2021 transits. I said 2017 to 2020, but they're calling this SSM saying that it's the 2020 and 2021 transits. The part number for that big assembly that I was working on with the 300 amp fuse that's blown is B, no, LJ8Z14526 Charlie or LJ8Z14526C. It's called a circuit breaker assembly and it's a special order part and it's about 80 to 100 bucks depending on where you're getting it from and the type of demand. And it's that whole breaker assembly. You can unbolt it and drop that one in and then put everything back together. So they do recognize that it is a problem. The key things that you should have taken away from this video, and maybe I didn't mention very much that I should have mentioned, is if you're getting all the lights and stuff to come on and you can't get your scan tool to communicate, I couldn't get any of them. I couldn't get my Ansel DS600. I could not get my Forscan, F-O-R-S-C-A-N, uh, Ford programming, like in, for the aftermarket programming, aftermarket world. It's a program that you can order online if you just type in F-O-R-S-C-A-N dot com or Google it. It's a program that you can download to specific Windows laptops, and then you can order a diagnostic link. It's called the OBD Link EX off of Amazon, and you can use your own laptop at home to diagnose a lot of this stuff. That wouldn't communicate. The actual standard Ford FDRS would communicate, but it showed me PCM and ABS module offline. With that being said, if you're just somebody trying to diagnose this real quick and you don't have a scan tool and stuff and you're stuck, you can try to key on. If it's telling you, you know, coolant cylinder head over temp condition and all this other stuff and you're like, wait a second, it's cold. Especially with this transit, it's been sitting for four months before being restarted you know something's definitely wrong here why would that be it's not overheating it's cold very carefully jump those mega fuses and the ones that you make connection on that are typically broken if you can jump that mega fuse and then reach up there and key on you figured out your problem that's why your pcm's not communicating your abs module's not communicating and you've got all these weird erratic messages all over the dash now if you're going to go out and try to order this fuse block this assembly there's two different assemblies there's the assembly that i need with the big mega fuses and then there's another assembly with more fuses that are part of it i needed the smaller one the 300 amp setup and i'm going to share the service message at the end of this with you so you can see it yourself i was using the vin number to look up the part and i had to like actually take the vin number off have the parts guy look up a 2020 transit generically with no VIN number and then it came up under the right category with no VIN filter on. So, here's the service message. Y'all have a great night. Thank you for your patience and your time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I said in the video, I think, or somewhere else I said 2017 and above. It's, it's actually 2020 and 2021 not 2017 to 2020. I got that confused. It was another no start issue I was thinking of. This particular issue that we're dealing with here is most prominent in 2020 and 2021 transit T250, T350 and above that have this type of fuse block set up under the seat.